Hello, I'm Elif and this is a recap for episode 45 of the series Golden Boy, 24 hours after Turkey and before dubbed for TV. Farid tells Nokat, who looks at them with surprise, Mr. Thailand said something. We thought we should hear from you too. Nokat laughs subtly, and everyone gathers around. The day before, she gave a check to Thailand and asked him to tell everyone if he got caught, so the news wouldn't spread. Nokat says, Sultan was determined to interview. He had enough of Ethergat's threats. Then, with tears, she apologizes to everyone and goes to her room. Everyone follows her, but Nokat locks herself in and pretends as if the world has come to an end. Upon seeing a picture of Farid kissing, Sayran picks it up and asks everyone who placed it there. Sayran's pleas turn into tears, and she looks around with helplessness. After a while, Nokat comes out of the room and tells Carly's Khan that she won't stay under the same roof for another minute. She asks Kaya to leave, but Kaya says he made a promise to Sona and stays there to marry her. A while later, Cosim gathers everyone and says the most important thing is his daughter's union with Kaya, emphasizing that her honor must be restored. Carly's Khan gets angry, but Kaya calms him down, saying Cosim has the right, and they need to make everything official. Saren enters the house angrily, and as soon as she sees Farid, she smashes the pictures on his face, asking, what is this? Farid is shocked by the pictures and asks where she got them. Saren curses herself for trusting Farid and he explains that he's not at fault, a girl in his club framed him. He assures her that someone is playing a game with them. Saren asks, who, Farid? If it was Polo John, I'd say it was him, but it's not. Do you have something you're not telling me? Farid only says, I'll prove to you I'm not at fault. Having heard the commotion between Farid and Sayrin, Cosim enters their room after Farid leaves to find out what the problem is. Suddenly, his eyes fall on a picture of Farid on the ground. Sayrin asks him not to do anything. Cosim says, sit like a fool and cry. Women lined up for him. I told you to bring a child. It's your right. Farid goes back to Thailan and asks him if the kissing picture is his doing. While smiling and provoking Farid even more, Thailan says it's not his doing. Farid, now desperate, screams. Abedin says, Farid, don't involve Pelin. Give her a call. Farid calls Pelin and arranges to meet with her. On the other side, Sayran confronts Ephigat and tells her she knows she's trying to separate her and Farid, but this time she won't let her succeed. She then goes to Kaya's room and tells him that he had a plan from the beginning, intending to ruin his relationship with Farid. Now, he is working with Ephigat to deceive Sona. Saren says, you found a simple girl with deficiencies and went after her. Kaya says, let me show you how I kissed her. Saren says, speak the truth. Sona, having heard their voices, enters the room and asks what's going on. Kaya says, she says I don't love her. She's simple and weak. I just want to fool her. Sona is shocked, and Saren tells her, he's playing with us. Don't believe this guy. Sona scolds Saren, who says, all I can say is I'm sorry. The girl who kissed Farid calls Sayran and introduces herself, arranging to meet with her. Sayran, surprised, immediately leaves. Farid goes to Pelin, showing her the picture and saying, someone suddenly came and kissed me, and someone accidentally took a picture and showed it to Sayran. Pelin says, I said I would take responsibility for the child, but I don't know what wisdom it is that since you came, my relationship with Sayran has been ruined. Pelin says, if I wanted to ruin your relationship, instead of coming to you directly, I would have gone directly to Sayrin. She cries and complains about her circumstances, making Farid upset. Afagat goes to Sona's room and asks her to bring her clothes to examine her body. She says, you have to be ready. Have you been with anyone before? What happened between you and Safwat? Sona kicks Afagat out with disgust. Afagat wants to take Sona shopping. When she sees Abedin in the courtyard, Ephigat loudly talks about Sona's engagement night. Abedin is upset and asks her not to bring them to it, but Ephigat, disdainfully, asks her to do her duty. News reaches Shamuz that Helen has gone to see a man. Angrily, he goes to Golgun, scolds her, and brings up the issue of Pelin's child's father. Nokhat, present with Golgun, immediately says that Pelin's child's paternal uncle is Farid. Shamuz, unable to contain his laughter, tells Golgun to call Farid. When Golgun informs Pelin, she becomes anxious, but Farid tells her to get up and go. The girl who kissed Farid pretends to be sorry and upset while telling Sayran that they got excited for a moment that night, thinking they were experiencing a special moment, 
but later, Farid didn't approach her. She says, I just wanted you to get to know your husband. Sayrin cries bitterly and then leaves immediately. Helen and Farid are in the same complex where Sayrin is, and on the other side, Ephigat and Sona are shopping. Ephigat notices Farid and Pelin and is shocked. Sayrin waits in front of the complex and, after the girl gets in Peril's car, follows her. Farid enters Shamu's house with Pelin, and before Shamu says anything, he tells him, you shouldn't mistreat Pelin anymore. You have to take care of Pelin and my son. Your hand is in trust. Okay. Shamu's laughs upon hearing Farid's words. Saren also arrives at Shamu's mansion. Shamu's asks Farid to inquire about him and find out who he is and why his body is burned. Then he says, this kid can't make it in the world without a father. Either you divorce your wife and marry my niece, or you leave from here. You won't see Pelin or the child anymore. If you say you'll do something that satisfies you, I'll burn you alive. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for the next episode.